it judgment? It is judgment. Is it incompetence? Is, okay, well. Yeah. What are you guys talking about? And just because your judgment of my competence is well placed, it doesn't make it less hurtful. I want to say something is that I'm looking out at this crowd and I know that we have people in this room who have come for this from Israel. From Australia. From Texas. From, shout it out, shout it out. All that stuff. Canada. Canada. From Canada. And we've also had, for a very brief moment, a wedding party. <laughs> that walked up to the bar and said, what the fuck is this? They're not here anymore. <laughs> Hail Satan! <laughs> but you know who is here? Who's here is Lou Fernandez! Hello, everybody. Lou Fernandez, you hold in your hands a document or created just for you. I am glad that it is not horribly encased as some of the other ones have been. <laughs> just rip it I had it a open. vision of myself I think, sitting on the uh, floor trying to undo this. I think this has helped. I think, that, I think that last reading has gotten us a lot more magics. Oh, good. And I think that we'll, we'll just amass a whole bunch of magics. My goodness. And then we'll be able to... Oh, so Satan is definitely coming, right? What? De Satan's definitely, Satan's definitely, definitely coming. coming. Definitely coming. Great. Definitely coming. Like, so, so soon? Lou, soon? Yeah, probably. Probably. Like probably. when? Didn't come well, here for nothing. you know, the when is not a, it's not a helpful term. All right, so, so, uh, so Lou, what do you got not there? I have in my hands death, hell, and the afterlife. Hey! Yeah. By High Priestess Maxine Dietrich. Oh, my God. Uh, Surely you all are familiar with the High Priestess. With the Maxine Dietrich? Who provided Maxine? it to you? Holy shit. Who provided it to you? I'm sorry, what? Is that an original? Is there an other? Oh, never mind. Yeah, there is no other sheet. So. That, oh, I missed. Oh, sorry. Death, Hell, and the Afterlife provided by Mix. Yeah. Does this make a difference to you? It does not make a difference to me. <laughs> okay. All right. Death, Hell, and the Afterlife by High Priestess Maxine Dietrich. Many people are understandably frightened in regards to hell being a place of torture and internal damnation and fiery torment. Personally, since coming to Satan, I have had extensive experience both in working with human souls who have passed from this earth and in seeing Satan's hell, which is a safe place for the souls who are there. Yeah, yeah it's not so bad. Yeah. In contrast to souls who go to the light when leaving their physical bodies through death, Satan is responsible and protective. He sends demons to escort satanic souls to hell. This is to ensure these souls will be protected from the light, which is like the enemy. It's the enemy. Oh, oh light oh, is oh. the enemy? Light is the enemy. Well, I always heard the light wasn't the enemy. Okay, yeah, that's, no, that's well, you were wrong. Okay. In addition Oops. to working In addition to working with many different demons, Satan has had me work with human spirits. Though the physical bodies are dead, they are very much alive and do not like to be referred to as quote unquote dead. I am talking I am talking those of importance in hell. Most spirits who have resided in hell have, have reincarnated. Some are still there for specific reasons. I can tell you, Satan's hell is not some place of fire and brimstone, but a safe haven for souls who are of Satan. Oh, hey, oh, good to okay. be here. It sounds pretty great, everybody. It's pretty sounds nice so nice. far. The there, is, 
There is another place. Oh. Okay. The Christian, quote unquote, hell, where Christian believers who fall short wind up. This is where the horror stories come from, and angels have taken some unfortunate individuals on a personal tour of this, as they are human-hating. This place of torment is not of Satan, but is and was created by Judeo-slash-Christian, quote-unquote, God. Those who tie into Christian beliefs and energies are all vulnerable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, like not, it's not okay, everyone. There have been ca- I'm pretty sure. Uh, there have been some cases. There have been cases of certain individuals who have seen horrors and such from near-death experiences. They have less listeners. And related. Some of these people have ties to angels who show them this sort of thing. This is this Christian, quote-unquote, God and has nothing to do with Satan. Most tours of, quote-unquote, hell, such as the story of, quote-unquote, Dante's Inferno, are guided by an angel. Now, when I say, quote-unquote, Christian God, this term is a collective label for the human-hating entities out there that have been exploiting humanity using their invented Christianity religion as a tool. Why would they do that? Long, long before they hate humans. Oh, all right. Well, that makes sense. But what did we do? Uh, I, I think he's going to get to that. Long before photography was readily available and knowledge of extraterrestrials was made public. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Right, we're all on board. Um, we're I'm on, on board. board with that. Sure. I mean, don't. A cultist, Alistair Crowley, drew a picture. Oh. Of. Jehovah. Oh, yeah. That and is the, his real name. And the image was of a gray extraterrestrial. Uh-huh. Grays hate humanity. Fuck yeah. What? what? I have heard Christians, brackets ad nauseum, yeah. go on and on about how, quote-unquote, the devil hates humanity, quote-unquote, was a murderer and a liar from the beginning, quote-unquote, is all about materialism, quote-unquote, uh-huh. works to... <laughs> Quote unquote, works to prevent humanity from achieving everlasting life and immortality. The list of bullshit goes on and on. This guy. This guy. In reality, this applies to Jehovah. Oh, I've heard of him. (laughs) Their, quote unquote, God. One only needs to look at all of the murders, the endless lies, and the genocide of Gentile nations in the Old Testament of the Bible. Christians keep compulsively parroting, quote unquote, Jesus loves you, when the real truth is, quote unquote, Jesus hates you. What? What? My Jesus? Yep. Jesus hates humanity. Oh, shit. I know. This sounds a lot like what Jesus said Satan would say. Just hear me out, guys. Okay. All right, all right, all right. He seems okay. He's Quote, glasses. unquote, Jesus is nothing more than a subliminal tool you for ushering in the, quote, unquote, Messiah and to keep the deluded from spiritual knowledge. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Advancing their souls and achieving everlasting life slash immortality. Why would quote, Jesus do that? <laughs> quote, unquote, Jesus also serves as a distraction. Oh. So they so that believers never mediate or wait meditate, sorry, or do anything to advance their souls. I know. Everything about this Jesus sounds pretty terrible. Wow. Yeah, I'm not on board. Yeah, I don't like that dude. <laughs> Me too. The deluded believe, quote unquote, Jesus will take care of everything, and that quote unquote Jesus saves when in truth all we save are our own souls, given that we have the knowledge and that we apply it. Try running this by Christians. They keep, they keep parroting, quote-unquote, the devil deceives, when in truth it is their own, quote-unquote, God, and this so-called, quote-unquote, God of theirs is afraid of humanity obtaining knowledge and spiritual power, is threatened by our physical nudity. Quote-unquote, wait, is threatened by our physical nudity? Sorry, these are all questions. <laughs> Quote, unquote, loves you so much he will damn you to a fiery pit to burn for all eternity? Sounds like a dick. Hardly our creator. 
everything that Christians accuse, quote unquote, the devil of is really their, quote unquote, own God. This is their deception. Quote unquote, he deceives the masses. Now, getting back to those near death experiences and such, like I know you were waiting for. Yeah, yeah. get to the near death experiences. Lilith told me something very enlightening. Now, wait, wait, you may is this ask written who by Lilith Niles is. Crane? What? Is this being written by Niles Crane? Yeah. It's not Lilith Fair. Oh. It's Lilith. Oh, okay, okay. Lilith told me something very enlightening. She told me that those who have had strong ties to Christianity in their past lives are very open to the enemy. Even if someone is non-religious, an atheist or agnostic, yeah, yeah. if there is a strong essence of Christianity in that person's soul from a former lifetimes, it is an opening for the enemy to manipulate him slash her in this lifetime. You're damn right. Note Why would they do that? that those who have had frightening experiences run straight back to the enemy. The enemy will always use the individual for an example into scaring others and in many other ways. Oh. This is truly terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> I have learned so much about the soul, and I have had the privilege of working directly with a few human spirits who are of major importance to Satan. They do not like to be called, quote-unquote, dead. They are very much alive, alert, and aware, with the same personalities, character traits, likes, dislikes, emotions, and everything else that they were in their physical lives here. Everything else, even the boners. The Get only that. thing... Cut to that part. Go to the boners right now, please. The, <laughs> the only thing is they do not have a physical body yet. Oh, forget yet. it. Yet. Yet, reincarnation is the only way one can obtain a physical body. I suppose. Most people reincarnate because the souls who are not without a body do not eat. They Most. do not sleep. Yeah. And basically, they stagnate. It is very boring for them. You can I'm sure you can imagine. No. <laughs> the soul can enter the body of a living being, brackets, as the one I have been working with does with me. And enjoy physical pleasures such as eating, touching different things. Oh, yeah. And any, yeah. yeah. And enjoying anything else physical. That's the boners I was talking about earlier. Okay, oh, good, good, good. boners. Okay. You're yeah. Back in here. The soul by itself is also able to feel sexual orgasm. Oh. Yeah. I'm a big fan of a Why not? orgasm, but okay. <laughs> sexual. <laughs> Sexual orgasm is not only physical, oh. but is also spiritual. Right. As when orgasm occurs, the chakras open. Yeah. And, and this is one of the main reasons the Christian churches are always, are and always have been against sexual pleasure. It is a spiritual thing, not physical, that they are against as they work to destroy all spirituality. Yeah. That's just like the church. Yep. I, this all is too familiar for everyone here, I'm sure. The goal of spiritual Satanism is physical and spiritual perfectionism and immortality. So you don't have to die and reincarnate and forget everything you learned in this life all over again. Satan takes care of his own. I, have, I asked a VIP human spirit of whom I have been working with. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is a very Don't important phantom. Names, very important phantom. 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 <laughs> phantom. 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 You don't want to forget all that custard work you've done in your Shit, previous no. life. <laughs> Shit, no. Uh, I asked a very a VIP human spirit of whom I have been working with what happened when he died. He told me four of our gods showed up, took his astral hand, lifted him from his body, and took him to hell where others he knew who had passed on were already there and where he would, had been secure, safe, and very protected. This sounds awesome, guys. Another VIP spirit who swallowed cyanide was escorted this way. <laughs> That's just a pro tip, guys. The VIP spirits have been segregated as they are given protection. This is, sounds like a little bit from Charlotte, everybody. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, a woman that had a family member of mine worked with related... Wait. A woman that... 
A woman that a family member of mine worked with related her fears years ago concerning her husband seeing demons on his deathbed. These were the messenger demons, the gargoyle types, and he was frightened. Again, at some point in his past life, his soul was of Satan, and Satan took responsibility for him. Yeah. Well, These, Satan's the good like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a good dude, Satan. Yeah, yeah you he's got him? your back. Yeah. yeah. These demons are here for the protection of satanic souls to ensure they're not abducted by the enemy right. by going to the light. Right. The light. Yeah. Oh. Am I right? The light. Uh, as essence... As essence is like a trace of energy left behind with a violent death, so-called quote-unquote haunted houses and that sort of thing. An, es an essence is just energy. An essence does not have a personality, emotions, or awareness. I'm not sure where this is going. <laughs> or a bank account or responsibility. So The experiences in the above article are not just my own but of other dedicated Satanists who have also confirmed their own experiences regarding hell and working with those who have passed on and are now sp in spirit form. Satan never murdered anyone. No, -uh. You can't prove shit. Can I, get a Can I get an amen, or is that what you say? I don't know what you say there. Satan. Satan. Satan never lied Woo! to anyone. The father of lies never lied to anybody. He's just the father of them. Yeah, he never yeah. told them himself. He, he just, just gave birth it. to them. Satan accepts you as who you are and does not hate human nature. Satan rules over what is called, quote unquote, the occult, which is complete which is completely spiritual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Satan gives us knowledge and does not fear human spiritual advancement. And finally, mm -hmm. Satan does not fear humanity. Hell no. Woo! Hail Satan. That's it for Satan. Hail Satan. What was that about aliens in there? Wasn't there aliens in there? Was there aliens? There was the a grays. lot of stuff. There was grays there was in there. Was grays oh, yeah, like there were Jehovah. grays. There were grays. Satanic grays, I guess. Lou Fernandez!